Hey guys, welcome back to another video of what is Microsoft Series. Um, it's Tuesday, January 16th. We're going to dive into a video on what is Power BI. Uh, we're going to go into a brief overview of the Power BI service as a whole, what it is, some different features the platform has, who should use it, and why it fits in almost every part of your business, ecosystems, and different organizations, and also how you can train on it, some different certifications, etc. So super excited about this one. It's something I'm diving into more myself, which is more reporting. Uh, for those that have done Tableau, ClickView, um, Data, Excel, anything like that, this should look very familiar, or it's just Microsoft's version. So let's dive in. See you guys on the other side. All right, guys, so let's take a look at what is Power BI. So Power BI is a collection of services, apps, and connectors that can turn your unrelated data into great visualization. It can take Excel, SQL, databases. It can take external applications, your API. It can take all kinds of data that's unstructured and turn it into great visualizations that your business units and departments can actually take actions on and see insights into. So, what does it compromise of? It includes Power BI Desktop, which is a full service where you can only build reports, but you can actually uh, build out your connectors and you can integrate your different data sources. It includes the actual Power BI services, which is a web app version, the same tools. There's a few different feature sets that you don't get in the web app that you actually have to use the desktop for. Um, and there's desktop applications for both Windows, iOS, and uh, Mac OS. And then there's the Power BI mobile app, which allows you to see the visualizations, reports, um, Etc. So you can actually do some administration as well if you do the administrative backend. And then there's two other feature sets that don't get talked about often enough, I think, um, which is the Power BI Report Builder, which is how you can actually build the paginated reports, which we'll walk, do a brief walkthrough on. And then there's also Power BI Server. So you actually take the Power BI desktop reports you create and you can actually publish them on premise. So a lot of customers that I've seen have actually found that very useful because they have some very high classified data that they don't want to put up and don't trust the cloud for yet. Like maybe their cloud security is their M365 security is not where they think it should be. So they only trust that behind their, their firewalls and their internal networks. So it's super awesome. If you guys want to be on that, leave a comment below. I can actually dive into the report server a bit more. But I think it's a really cool feature that's not well heard of and it actually shocks a lot of customers when I start talking about it. Um, so let's talk about Diving in a little bit more on what paginated reports are in the report builder and why you would use them. So here's an example of a paginated report. Basically, it means page version, right? Spread across multiple tables, different views. Um, it's used a lot, as you can see here, in an invoice. It's used also in transcripts. Um, it's how you can bring in multiple tables into one page. You can only build these types of reports in, my, in the Power BI report builder. You can't build it in a desktop server. So if you're looking to build more inclusive reports, more um, visible, more viewer friendly reports, you got to do those in Report Builder, and that's only done in a desktop service. That's one of the key differences right away. Um, and who would want to use reports? Right, so let's take a look. Um, Microsoft actually has a cool couple links actually on who would actually find these useful. Right, it's everybody. Right, so Power BI for business users, uh, desktop right for creators, enterprise report creators admins, developers, right, for embedded analytics. What we mean by embedded analytics, we can actually put those into Power Apps. We can put those into Power Pages, right, all throughout the Power ecosystem. We also put them into presentations, right, so embedded analytics is huge. And then what can you do with the API itself um, is also very important. So it's for everybody, but it's not just for Power BI people. It's also for business organizations and business units, such as um, the business analyst team, course, but also security team, right? I use Power BI often. It's also used well in the infrastructure team, right? You need to get a view of all your endpoints throughout the environment, how well it's wired with them through Intune and a report that's shoved out to Power BI. Um, you can also use it in marketing, etc. Anywhere where there's data, you can use it. Um, so there's data everywhere, so you can use it everywhere. Um, so, but you have to understand where your data is, is your data clean, right? Data is only as good as um, it is clean. So super important. So as always, this is what is Power BI. We'll dive into different aspects of it another time. For next video, will be a walkthrough of a, what a Power BI template is. So if you guys found this enjoyable, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. 
you liked it, let me know your thoughts. Thanks again, guys. See you next time. All right, guys. As always, hope you found that video on Power BI super informative. I like doing these little tidbits. I think they're much more impactful than long form, even um, to see you guys and see if you find the content exciting and want to dive deeper. Um, I'll leave all the links below. Um, today's quote comes from Harry Potter book of Deadly Hollows, part two. Um, it's from Remus Lupin. So I'm going to talk the X through it and why I chose it. It's it's the quality of one's convictions that determine success, not the numbers of followers. I think it's super powerful in today's world, not only um, in content creation, but throughout just normal life, right? It's not about how many people believe in you, as long as you believe in your own conviction, right? So it's not about the amount of people, it's about the quality, right? That's all it's about in life. Um, so hopefully this quality you found is still um, relative even tomorrow, even a year from now. And that's kind of why I gear it that way. But as always, thank you guys. If you guys found the content useful, like, subscribe, let me know your thoughts. And if you want to do a what is video on something completely drastically different, let me know. Um, there may be a video coming out in more um, depth about other areas. So super excited. Happy Tuesday. See you guys on Thursday.